so today's mission is to go to as many sneaker shops as I can, including, well, Urban Necessity is like number one on the list, but I'll go there last since it is the farthest one from where I'm at. Right now I'm gonna go to Suite 106. Don't know exactly, never heard of it in my life, but I just looked up sneaker shops around like my area and that popped up and it's the closest one. It's like 11 minute walk from the hotel. So I figured I might as well go check that out first. I'm not gonna lie, it is super windy and it's pretty cold. It's like 64 degrees apparently. And that weather is not bad at all. It's actually really good because I have not felt this cold in a while. Like, I mean, maybe in Florida, but not really. You don't, you don't really get, it does get this cold, but you don't get it often. At least like now I can actually go somewhere and it's really dry, there's no humidity. Like I said, the weather is like beyond perfect. So that sneaker shop was whatever. I just, I actually just really now, I just want to go to Urban Necessities because I, I just want to be amazed by what they have there. And also, I mean, any other consumer shop or anything that comes along, like that'd be dope too. But what I'm really going to do, I think I'm just going to go on the strip and I'm just going to walk that. And first of all, find something to eat. It's kind of late to get breakfast now, but if I can find some breakfast, that'd be dope. I'll start at McDonald's and get like a McMuffin or whatever. And then I'll go down the strip and see what I find. Hopefully I'll find like dope ass stores or something. And I'm trying not to buy anything because I'm trying to save my money for sneaker con because I know there's going to be a lot of dope merch there. And I'll probably maybe buy a pair of shoes. I don't even know because if I buy a pair of shoes, I will have no way to bring them back, which sucks. Because I only have literally this bag and that's it. I don't have a carry-on, nothing. Alright, so this vlog might actually just contain of like a lot of time lapses. Because there's like so much to see and I don't want to do so much talking either. I feel like I should just show you guys the city more than I should be talking. Yeah. Alright, so I kind of want to try these things like where you take a picture with these people, but you got to pay them. I mean, apparently it's their job, but it's not really a job. It's kind of like a, more of a hustle. So I kind of just like, I kind of want to try it out, see how it goes. See if they actually charge me or something or tell me to delete the picture. Because I've seen it happen a lot on like prank videos. Not prank videos, like just like videos of people in Vegas and stuff, you know. You see right behind me in the pink, right there. Like things like that. Let's hope I don't get flagged for that on YouTube because YouTube likes to flag everything apparently. All right, so my man Holden, all the way from Toronto, he saw me inside the Louis Vuitton store and he like made a weird look and then he came <laughs> running all the way over here to say what's up. Follow me on Instagram, underscore H-O-1-D-3-N underscore. There you go, all right. Shout out to him. Thanks a lot, bro. Nice meeting you. And since he knew of the channel, I did post on my Snapchat that whoever comes to me first, like as a first come first serve kind of thing, I will be giving away the shoelaces from Life and Souls. So I am giving those away. I did give him, I think I gave him like the Chinese looking one. They saw me vlogging, they wanted to be in the vlog. What's up, what's up? Hey, from Dallas. From Dallas? Yeah, from Dallas. From Dallas. Oh, that's nice, all right, we're from Miami, you know. I know, that's right. why, that's why Miami do it, do it big. <laughs> all right. I'll go home. Right. Y'all have a good one, enjoy your trip. All right, I'm trying to find the Uber, because it's like an Uber pool. And I don't know where the hell this thing is. Oh, I found it, I'm on Planet Hollywood. For a pool, you're supposed to meet somewhere, they can't pick you up exactly in the spot. I don't know. Oh, that might just be a Vegas thing. It's kind of weird. I just got dropped at the Boulevard Mall, and I did not know this, but Chic Shoes, I think is the name of the store, or just Chic or Shake. I don't know how to pronounce it, but I'll show you guys the logo in a bit. I didn't know it was here, and the store is here, and apparently they're dropping, I think, I, I'm pretty sure they're dropping the Yeezys this weekend. Look, that's the logo of the store. I don't know if it's pronounced Chic or Shake. This store is massive. So I'm kind of glad I came here, because I'm probably going to spend more time in this store and Urban Necessities and don't not even worry about the other stores. So apparently that's not the main location. I guess they have like other locations and they're not getting easy. So 
I kind of just like took a quick look in there and walked out. I'm trying not to waste time now. I'm just going to go straight to Urban Necessities and see exactly what they got there because I know I'm going to spend like an hour or two there just looking at the shoes and clothes. Alright, so I'm officially inside of Boulevard Mall. I don't know if I think that's the name of it. And now all I got to do is find out exactly where this store is. How's it going? Uh, thank you. What's your name, man? Huh? I'm good. What's your name? Randy. Come here, man. I'm good. I'm good. Thank you. Lotion from the ocean. Oh, look, they got a barbershop here opening up soon. So, but I can't work there. Or no, well, I work at a barbershop. Damn, that thing is oily as hell. I don't think I like that lotion from the ocean. Well, they got shoe pallets out here too. But let's get a quick look in here first, and then Urban Necessities. I'm not keep saying I'm gonna go there first. Uh, I don't want to say these stores are whack, but they don't have what I'm looking for. So they're not whack, but they're they're it's really nice. I mean, it's shoe pallets. It's a really known store. It's a store that gets Yeezys, but that particular location does not get them. Right, screw it, I'm just gonna go straight to Urban Necessities. Now for sure, like no, no doubt about it, because I'm really trying to see these sneakers, whatever they got. I'm trying to see that heat. They got a foot action, but like I said, they really have nothing to see in these stores. It's just the same thing you see in every single store. And here it is officially, Urban Necessities. I'm like, kind of shook I'm here, it's not that big of a deal, but. Oh, I didn't bring cash to play. It's a lot smaller than I thought. I mean, it's a big store, but it's a lot smaller than it looks in the like, camera and stuff. Damn, I really want these OG NMDs. But the problem is I can't even buy shoes because, like I said, I only have this bag and I can't even buy them. And put it, like, when I buy shoes, I want to keep the box. I'm not to have to throw them away. So if I do buy them, I'd have to throw away the box. And I'm not going to do that. So I'd rather just, like, I don't know, order them online or something. I really want these nice kicks, but they're expensive as hell. I missed out when they dropped. I don't want them for that. Well, it's my turn to use So this is a man that JC always messes up with. I'm sorry. What's up, guys? It's JC. I'm Damn, serious. dude. I'm actually taller than doing? somebody. Huh? I'm actually taller than somebody. <laughs> That's great. What's up, man? Hey, nice meeting you, dude. Hey, likewise. You're going to be a sneaker hunter now? Uh, maybe on the next one. On the next See, one? Not, not tomorrow? No, Damn. Damn. Sorry, man. Yo, I really want these guys. I mean, I've been wanting them for a while, but I heard they're dropping next year. And maybe, hopefully, they'll have like a Nike Air on the back. I don't like the Jumpman Air on there. Uh, no, I mean, we'll take whatever you got, just about, I mean, it just depends on, you know, size, wear, and popularity, because some of them don't move, because they're really Damn, look at all these damn zebras, yo. That's crazy. They even got a pair of turtle doves here. I'm such an idiot. Look how much they're going for. Twenty three fifty. I sold one for, like, eight fifty. Alright, so I look like a freaking ball in this thing. Literally. I look massive. I look fat actually. And it's funny because I've actually had this, I had a tab open for this on Safari for the longest time on my phone. And I, I was planning on buying it, but I don't know if I wish it would actually like, like the way it fit. And now I'm glad I'm here to actually try it on. I would never wear this in South Florida. I'd have to wear this like to Peru or weather right now. I mean, it's kind of cold, but it's not that cold. I 
Vespa Supremes right here. These are called the Panoramas. These are pretty nice in person, I'm not gonna lie. And of course, they have like back in the day, people would sell these for their cars, like thousand dollar cars. For the Galaxy, that's pretty sick. Foams are just not for me. Got the Supremes. And then right behind this, of course, we have the heat wall. This is super sick. Of course, you have a heat locker. My man Morse over here, he just recorded for me doing the key master. And I decided I'll give him a pair of uh, laces, whatever one he wants. He can choose the white and gold. Yeah. The white one? Yeah. Alright, yeah, I got the nicest one. Yeah, thanks a lot. Man. All right, anytime, Appreciate man. It. Anytime. So I'm gonna let my boys see you choose a pair of laces as well. Oh, man. Is this your stuff right here? No, that's my boy. In New York, Life and Souls. This is Life and Souls. Yeah. So we got the Galaxy ones. Alright. Uh, this Tiffany? looks like a Tiffany teal looking one. This one we got like a nice little, what's that, a floral print? Yeah, yeah. Kind of floral like Chinese print, too. Chinese. This one looks like a paint splatter. Yeah. And then this is just the all white. Uh, I'd probably go with this one. Yeah, all right, cool. The paint splatter, cool. Right, you Thank the you. Paint splatter. So I finally left Urban Necessities after like an hour and a half. Literally just looking at all everything they had there. I really wanted to get the like the full experience of Urban Necessities. I mean, super cool store, super cool people. All the employees are nice, really nice, really cool. I meant like I felt like I was well treated there. And honestly, I mean, <laughs> I bought something there. It doesn't really have any branding on the bag, but I bought that like the Urban Necessities shirt with like the one that has a collab with like Space Jam. I don't know if it's a collab that much, but. Yeah, that's all I got. It was like five dollars. So I was like, why not? I wasn't. Gonna, I couldn't buy any shoes, so I had to buy them online in order to get them in my house. And the ones I want were the OG and MDs, but they were going for three hundred. But I could have bought them off Gold for like two sixty. So I was like, nah, never mind. I'll just buy them somewhere else or wait for the price to go down again. So I'm gonna make a quick stop at the Foot Locker, and then I'm gonna go eat at the Foot Locker that's behind me, and not the Foot Locker, the food court. And then I gotta go back to the hotel and then get a ride to the airport because my flight leaves in four and no, three and a half hours. But I gotta be at two hours ahead. Sneaker Con Bay Area, see you soon. So yesterday I wasn't able to finish all the Q&A questions, so since I'm waiting again in the airport, since I'm going to Col not Colorado, since I'm going to California, I'm actually going to Oakland, and then from there I'm gonna have to drive to Union City, which is where I'm staying. And so, next question up was, what is your girl's sneaker, like what is your dream shoe you wish you had in your collection? That's a hard one, because there's a Nike one, and there's an Adidas one. But there's more Adidas than there is Nike. But my Adidas one, I would have to say, is the Nice Kicks. I saw those today at Urban Necessities, and I'm telling you, those were just straight fire. I wish I had those, but they're just too expensive to buy. I mean, I could just spend a rack and just get them, but like I said, I don't like spending retail, I mean resale, so I don't think I'm gonna buy it anytime soon unless, I don't know, something just comes up. And again, what is your all-time favorite shoe? All-time favorite shoe? I lied, I have to go back to the other question as well. My all time favorite shoe right now would probably be the Human Race. The friends and family one, it's like a maroon color. That shoe is so fire, honestly. Maroon, you guys know, if you guys like know me, I'm an FSU fan. The colors are similar, it's a little off, more like a purple maroon. It's still super dope, so I would say that's probably my favorite shoe. May I have your attention please? Can you please make your party at Accessories for Wireless at Terminal 1? Are you done? Joshua. Next question is, what's your favorite Jordan model? Ooh, that's a good one. I would have to say the Jordan 1 because they're such a classic shoe, especially there's so many colorways that I like and there's OG colorways. They're just beautiful and I feel like you can wear them with anything. All right, so this next question is pretty damn long. He asks, now that sneakers are becoming more and more saturated with replicas, 100% close to real, and sneakers like Yeezys and Just Dons, when do you think this will stop or how do you think as sneaker heads we can stop this? And how do you feel about sneakers becoming more and more limited and select people through plugs, get boatloads, and the order 
And how do you feel about sneakers becoming more and more limited and select few people through plugs get bowl loads and the ordinary people have to pay extra and, or can't cop? Honestly, it is, let me start off with the first question is when do you think this will stop? It's not gonna stop. It would never, there's only one way it would stop and that's, which is when he, this is the second question is how do you think sneakerheads, as sneakerheads we can stop this? The only way we can stop this is if we stop hyping up the shoes. Like, as far as there's, when there's demand for something, People are, there's going to be, a, I mean, so obviously going to be a limited supply unless there are general releases, but I feel like Yeezys can be a limited because just because the name at this point, they can literally make them every single day. Maybe that'd be the only reason, like the only way that shoes can like, that's when that would probably cut out the resellers just making a large amount of quantities. But then again, eventually it'll get to the point where they make so many that they won't even resell anymore. So they would just sit on shelves, so that would make a shoe not valuable, and that would make people stop buying them. That's what happened with Jordans. Jordans were so hyper first, and people were fighting for them, this and that. And now they, that they didn't release them, most of the time they sit on shelves, but I feel like they sit on shelves now because they just make stupid colorways that people nobody wants. And even the OG colorways, like the Cherry 13s, I felt, I felt like if those were more limited, those definitely would have sold out. But since there's so many of them, People are just gonna let them sit on shelves because they know they can just go into the store whenever they want and buy them. So I feel like that's the only way companies can stop that. Sneakerheads can't stop it because sneakerheads, you can't control what you like. And as as far as what we like, we're just gonna keep buying the hype. I mean, that's for the most part. A lot of a lot of people don't want to admit that they're hypeies, but you're most likely a hypeies if you're going for just hype shoes, basically. Like that's why I had to, at one point I was like, oh, you're calling me hypeies, damn kind of hurts but eventually I was like yo it doesn't matter I, um, I do I just I figured out I love the hype stuff like it just I don't know it's just I like hype stuff so I, there's no there's no controlling that and this next question asks and how do you feel about sneakers becoming more and more limited and select so people through plugs got boatloads and ordinary people have to pay extra and can't cop well limited why a company makes them limited and I get their sales and actually sell out because when a company sells out they know they're making they're getting the money out of their market so they're actually they probably exceeding their sales when they do that. So that's probably why they actually limit shoes. Like if they have a bunch of general releases, like when shoes sit on shelves, that hurts the companies. But for the most part, like Adidas and Nike, when they send them to like Foot Locker, Champs, and stores like that, they don't. It doesn't really hurt them because that's why they always have like money to produce shoes because the companies that they send them to, like Foot Locker and Champs, and just whatever other stores, they gotta pay their accounts. Like that's the only way they can actually get those shoes. If they don't pay their accounts or they don't pay for the shoe, then they don't get the shoes, obviously. And how do I feel about plugs getting boatloads of shoes and we don't? Honestly, I can't really, I used to be a reseller, so I can't really like hate on that. And I mean, and I know it sucks. It, it's annoying because it's like, damn, that shoe could have been mine. That's, that's like the mindset. That shoe could have been yours, but it's not. It's actually somebody else's that's making money off of it. And in your mind, you're like, bro, you could just be not nice, kind enough to like, just let us have it. But in the end, it's, this is the real life. It's a hustle out here. Like, they're not doing anything illegal. They're just reselling their shoes. That's not illegal. Like, that's way better than people like selling drugs and stuff. So honestly, that's a hustle I don't mind. That's why I got into it. I mean, like, at one point I was so hungry for money that I was thinking like, yo, how can I just make money? So I started reselling and I was not about to sell drugs because it's not my thing. I do not like to do things the wrong way. I like to do the right things. So again, I can't really hate them. They're doing their own thing. They're not doing anything wrong. Next question is, you out to Rolling Loud? Uh, I don't know, we'll see. Maybe, it's a possibility. Next question is, what part of Miami are you from? I am actually not from, I was born in Miami but I'm not exactly from there. Like, I don't live there. It's more in the Fort Lauderdale area. When and why did you get into sneakers? I've always liked sneakers. They've been, a, like, I think I liked them since I was in elementary school. When I got Air Force Ones, I was so happy to get them. I always wanted them and just, my, my mom could never afford them. And when I got them, she gave me a pair and then her best friend gave me a pair as well. I don't know how, but I finessed my way to get her to buy them for me. And I guess since then you can sell like sneakers. But when I really got into it was my freshman year after I graduated from middle school. I went to go buy a pair of Flint 13. Actually, I bought Flight 45s first, which is in eighth grade, and then over the summer, I think I bought Flint 13s, and those are what really got me into it. And then eventually, I bought Jordan 4s, cool gray 11s, all grade school sizes, because I didn't want to pay the extra money to get the adult sizes. But then I realized they didn't fit, they would just fit tight, I didn't like them. The quality's just worse on them, so I was like, let me just go to adult sizes. And then eventually, I grew into 7.5, and, and then eventually, I grew into 8, and now size 8 is all I get. I'm actually a seven and a half stud. Just get size eight to be safe on any shoe. Cause when I got lunar charges before, 
they fit really tight and I was so pissed because I really like the shoe and I can't return them, I couldn't exchange them anything so and I just go with the size 8 for everything. I can't really explain why, like, it's just a passion, it's something that, like, it's a culture, it's something different, it's something new, it's something that actually, like, gets me motivated during the day, it gets me to actually make videos, you know? Like, to talk about them, it's super fun to me. <laughs> My friend asked, why don't you come to Chick-fil-A when I offer free food? She right. I forgot, though, I completely forgot. Well, that's pretty much for the Q&A, guys. Thank you guys for asking the questions, it really does help me. I mean, it's glad that I, like it makes me glad that I can actually communicate with you guys, and you guys can communicate with me as well. And that's why every once in a while, I will open up my Snapchat so I can talk to you guys. And every time I do open my Snapchat, I do reply to most of you. I try to reply to you guys through my Twitter, through my Instagram, YouTube, everywhere. I try to reply to you guys everywhere because you guys are the reason I'm here. So thank you guys so much. Anyways, I gotta go. I gotta go get some Starbucks first, and then I'm gonna go on the plane. This is probably the end of the vlog. So I'll see you guys tomorrow on the Sneaker Con vlog.